live WTMP HD, Egypt Lake, Tampa, and now on 102.1 in Pinellas County. All righty. All righty. All righty. Yeah. Tampa Bay. It's that time again. And I actually heard some of the other shows this morning. Mm -hmm. Some of them was okay, you know. Okay. You know, you know, but, you know because, see, cause usually when I get up on Saturday morning, you know, I got a meeting at 8 o'clock. And then I usually go to 9, 30, 10. And then I have a couple things I got to do. And then I have to have to go get ready for this and and then show up and come and 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 I end up hearing every now and then some good stuff but this today what we're gonna do I got see I gotta talk about the student loan I gotta talk about that I'm not even sure what that is. Yeah, know, huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. student loan? Look, I, I wrote down all the reasons why we should do the reasons why I should be held responsible for your student loans. I paid mine off. I got I got I got I got a notepad made filled out and right now it's got zero reasons why I should give a damn about somebody that doesn't care about their own degree to pay it off. But they, they want me to pay it but off. But the government don't work like that. See what they decided. <laughs> This old gopher from Massachusetts? Mm. Where, 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 where is, uh, what you call him from? Delaware. Delaware. De Delaware. No, I, I ain't talking about Biden. I'm talking about... Mitt Mid Romney who? It ain't Biden. It, it's not Biden's idea. Okay. What's the other old fart that was... Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Oh. See, that, see, that was Bernie's Another thing. Old piece of yeah, that was Bernie's thing, trying to get the young kids... To back him, and, and and they supported him because they thought they was getting quid quo pro. Eddie, no, no, only only Republicans do that. See, they were getting something for nothing. See, that's why they got in mass. See, those young kids say, "Well, if we back Bernie, he gonna pay off our student loan." You know, he's become a multimillionaire and, already. And they kept saying that, they kept saying that, and they kept saying that, and and he got his little piece. See, he got his little corner of the Democratic Party. He's got some millions already. And, and they got a bunch of folks over there that's still supporting that. But, bunch see, of folks. See, but see, what they don't understand. I guess I should start the show. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> if we're going to sit here and talk. We got I, stuff, baby. I, I guess we might as well go ahead and start the show. So if you're going to call the show today, the call in number here at this station is 888 247 8712. 888-247-8712. My cell phone number, if you want to call me, Eddie Adams Jr., 813-12. Now, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff <coughs> that's going on. And, I, and, and last week's show, the most important thing I said last week was, and I know some people... Remember, some people don't remember. It's important. I remember they got they, they had this 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 men's suits, and he said the most important thing was to be informed when you go to buy a suit. Now I said to myself. Why is it important to be informed when you go buy a suit? I thought it'd be more important to be informed when you go to vote. Because I kept hearing all these stories. Oh, well, my neighbors ask me who to vote for. Mm -hmm. And and I tell these old ladies and old men at the nursing home who to vote for and this and this and this and this. And I'm going to myself, this is Eddie, mm. why in the hell are all these people asking 
all these stupid ass people who to vote for. Because they don't know these folks. They are no more active than their neighbor. Now I was at a at a panel discussion a couple of weeks ago. And I told and these people kinda asked, Well, what do you do? I said, mm -hmm. I I know everybody I voted for. Personally. Not just, you know, meeting them and waving and saying bye and, and everything. I actually know them because some stupid person <laughs> gonna come up and try to tell me that I should be voting for somebody else. But they don't know this person they telling me to vote for themselves. See, some, the Democrat. see somebody told them uh, to vote for this person and it. that person became the person to tell people to vote for. But that's not how real politics is supposed to work. Mm -hmm. See, they keep having all these voter forums, and what you do is you take your butt to a forum. I know, I know, yeah, it takes some energy. It takes some time. You got to get up and yep, yep. put your wig on and, and put your good Are we talking about the women or the men? I'm talking about both. Okay. You know they you know you know you know they got it now where where you can't <laughs> tell sex by stuff like that. You know, you can't tell the gender. Crocodile Dundee knows how to check on his movie. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, by the time you get up, get dressed, put some shoes on, and, and then you go down and talk to these people, you'll see that a lot of these candidates mm -hmm. They're not very smart either. Some of them <laughs> don't Eddie. have common sense. Eddie, Eddie, come on and now. then you hear someone saying, vote for this person. I'm saying to myself, because I already know this person is dumb as a rock. Mm -hmm. I'm saying this person ain't got common sense. They can't lead their way out of a paper bag made out of toilet tissue that's wet. Mm -hmm. But for some reason or another, somebody convinced somebody that they were the person to go vote for. And I say to myself, self, mm -hmm. all of these particular candidates right here, wasted votes. That's what I call them, wasted votes. And so when you start going down a ticket, and somebody say, vote all D's or vote all mm -hmm. R's. You are participating in what's called stupid voting. See that voting where you took the time, energy, and effort where you actually found out who the judges were and the judges know your name and you know their name and you could be having a conversation. It could be a hundred people in the room, but you can still have a conversation just like it's you and them. And Eddie, you can't just be looking at the stuff that gets sent in the mail to no, you, no. Uh, the pictures, because uh, Karen Gonzalez was running here in the Tampa Bay area and she had her picture with DeSantis. She was a Democrat and she hysterically, or historically, voted the opposite of whatever DeSantis ever wanted. And yet, in her postcard she sent out was her picture with him, looking proud that she was for the common person. So she votes against everything that helps the common person. But that picture, if people had just seen that picture, oh, well, she, she must be a conservative somehow. Well, uh, we'll see what you gotta, line, line. what you gotta realize. Good marketing. And I want folks to know as a community, a lot of time, folks disrespect mm -hmm. you when you do stuff, and, 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 and I know I know they take it personal, and, and, and you know, I really don't care whether they get mad at me about, oh. or not, about souls to the pole, because if you're going to take a soul to the pole, give them a hot dog, some cheese, cheese fries or something, and, 
and, and, and feed them and try to tell them how to vote, you should know how the hell they should vote to start with. Because I'm going to tell you, mm -hmm. a lot of those folks that you said go vote for this person and go vote for that person, those wasted votes are going to cost you in November. Mm -hmm. See, because in November, they're going to be running. See, see when you go in, in August in the primary, you can't hurt me. I say you can't hurt me. Mm -hmm. See, because you can only vote for Democrats. And I think that's a good way for it to be. Because in the pool that you got to vote, Ain't none of them fish got no teeth. Mm. You heard me right. None of them fish got no teeth. They ain't going to be biting nobody. Because all of them going to lose in November. Yeah, I said. Eddie, I think we're going to win in a huge landslide. And right now, the Democrats have their, 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 their marketing arm and, and the media out there saying, that, oh, we're going to hold the Senate and we're going to hold the House. And there's no way in hell it is. Well, they got to say that. They got See, you cannot forecast your own demise. Mm -hmm. The dem demise is coming. See, 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 <clears throat> now they running against the A team. Mm -hmm. So you got the B team and A team. For everybody who, who plays sports, you know, you got the B team, you got the A team. The A team is the team that plays on Friday night mm -hmm. for high school football. B team plays on Thursday, and 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 everybody everybody keeps saying, I, I, I like how they go. Val Demon is two points below Marco Rubio. Mm. I like how they say Charlie Chris is two points below Ron DeSantis. It's all about that two point. See, see, they, see, don't they they, 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 know they ain't winning. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. You know, you know, so, so, they they, so, so they, so they gonna make it. They, they just, they barely losing. Now, now, I hate to tell you this, but barely losing on November the eighth mm -hmm. is a loss. I just hate to say that. You can barely lose on November the eighth, but you go home and sit for two years till they do this all again. And I want to make sure you know and make sure that you understand that close losses are losses. And Eddie, if that's the way the Democrats have set this year, this election cycle coming up, they can't complain about if they lost, if it was unfair or not. They can't go against the election system because that's illegal, in their words. Let me let me let me tell everybody something, just so everybody understands. They counted the school tax ballots four times. They counted them four times. See, because the, the, the machine counted them <coughs> twice, mm -hmm. and then they had the report a week after the election, and they said, well, we, we, we counted them. So I'm assuming when they saying we counted it, it got to the point so close to where they had to do the hand count. So... I listen to the supervisor of elections, mm -hmm. and they got the same exact count every time. Something must be wrong then. They didn't go in their favor. I was shocked and amazed because I heard counts from all over the country. And they never got the same count twice in any single election. Now, now I'm just saying we got a good supervisor of election here, Craig Lattimore. Because mm -hmm. every time they counted them, they got the same exact count. Now, hopefully, that same thing happens in November. Eddie, they got over just under half a million. They've got under just under a million dollars. Hillsboro has approved to educate these dumb people.
people out here in Hillsborough County about that transportation tax. That's yeah. taxpayer money to create more money for them to waste more money and lose it and continue the corruption. That's incredible, Eddie. I had not mentioned it today. $700,000 approved. But the county tax, mm -hmm. and, and I don't care how close it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care how close it is as long as it loses. <laughs> Boat, no. Boat, no. Transportation tax, same. Incompetence should never be rewarded. In case you don't know what I mean, I know we got a call as soon as I finish this talk. Incompetence should never be rewarded. Call or welcome to Porch Talk Radio on this fine Saturday afternoon. Who are you? Where are you calling from? And what say you? Hello? Eddie. Yes. Metton Coffee, how you doing now? Doing great, sir. I'm, uh, I'm listening at you. Look here, let me tell you. Let me say this here. Do you believe Donald Trump did, the, did wrong about the, what he did in Mar-a-Lago? I'm going to tell you this, and, and I hope you don't take it the wrong way. Uh-oh. I think I won't, everybody I won't. who works for the United States government, the state of Florida, Hillsborough County, the city of Tampa, I think they do whatever they can get away with. Or okay. think, so, okay. or think okay. they can get away with. Okay. But, but that is a felony crime, right? Yes, it is. But I'm going to tell you something that's really, okay. Okay. really, really funny. Ex-presidents get away with Mo in this system than anybody else in the system. I'm Clinton. just saying, historically. Clinton's did it. Yeah. Did Obama. Yeah. And Hillary. But, and but Hillary. I'm saying, I'm saying, I know you, 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 you gonna look at things uh, 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 at, at, at a, in a godly Christian way. Yes, sir. So, but if they let if they let him go now, they got They need to go to federal prison and let them other people that the uh, 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 stole a uh, uh, spy document and, and espionage and all that. They need to let them go. Wouldn't you agree with that? Hillary's not in there. But see, but see, Reverend Coffee. You know, when I first started, I said they 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 do whatever they think they can get away with. It's just like running a red light. And I know I know it's making it too simplified. Whether you run the red light or not, mm -hmm. do not determine whether or not you go to jail or get a ticket or whatever. Whether you get caught. That's the okay. caveat that you got to put there. So at some point in time, somebody can come back and say, President Trump, ex-President Trump, whatever you want to call him, you know, we going to pardon all of this and it can be done you know you know by a single person mm -hmm. in the state of florida the governor can pretty much pardon anybody in the state for anything even murder see that's see that that, that that's what people don't don't gas and don't grasp you can all crimes are crimes until somebody has the authority Set them aside. They can be set aside. Okay, okay. but I'm, I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to keep this thing plain and simple to you. You know, if that's where America going now, if that's the way America going, okay, stop. Don't leave them. Leave. Leave them criminals alone. If that's the way America going, leave the criminals alone. But see, the, but see, you cannot not punish all the criminals because the president does something or the governor does something, or the mayor does something. You see what I'm saying? It's too many of them. It's too many, pe it's too many evil people walking the face of the earth today. Some of them got to be punished. Right, right. And if they didn't tell you the, gov the, the president had took them papers to Mar-a-Lago, you wouldn't know it. That's why they told you the president did something. They still digging the hole for for Trump, and they gonna keep digging that hole till he get reelected. Yeah. 
He got caught with that, though, right? Yes, he did. But he didn't get it to do yeah. anything legal. But you, but you are admitting he was wrong. Of course what he do. I'm gonna tell you like this. They say he wrong. Ah, oh, they oh. say he wrong. Okay. <laughs> now we got it. But but let, let, let me let me let me say this to you, uh, Reverend Coffee. If something is top secret, and I read the document from cover to cover, what's the difference after I have read it and before I have read it? Mm-hmm. The difference is now I know. But I knew before. Somebody knew before because somebody wrote it. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so what do I do with this information to determine uh, whether or not the information is bad or good? Uh, now, if I take it and, and go do a nuclear strike somewhere, um, well, then it was bad. But if I don't do nothing with it except sleep on it, then it, then, then it really didn't matter. It, it, it really was an exercise in futility because, because what, what, what they're doing now, they're digging a hole. At some point, they hope to bury Donald Trump in it. Mm-hmm. But right now, he is more popular today than he was two years ago. And they keep doing all these polls and say, Biden, Biden would beat Trump, and <laughs> and, and Camilla would beat Trump. Every, everybody, everybody would beat Trump. Donald up until they have the damn election. And this time they ain't gonna stop for five hours or six hours and and get their votes right because I'm gonna tell you, they had an election a week ago, two weeks ago, and Craig Lattimore counted the same count. Three, four times in a row. The exact same number. That's going to be the Democrats' problem. Because they got to come up with some sneaky sneak to figure out how to win this next election. Because mm-hmm. they ain't going to win it. They can't it. do it honestly. They can't win it the way they did the last one. Mm-hmm. And and now, in the state of Florida, folks going to go to damn jail. Ron DeSantis got it. So now... You, and there's more black folks don't be scared to vote, go vote. I'm going to tell you something. I've been voting since I was 18 years old. You're not afraid? I ain't afraid. <laughs> I ain't afraid. Ain't never been afraid. So if you ain't did nothing to be afraid of, What's the problem? go vote. If you ain't supposed to be voting, they'll put your ass in jail now. So, 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 so if you ain't Three sure rounds. whether or not you're supposed to be voting, don't vote, okay? Because you, you don't want to be beating Bubba back because you went and voted. <laughs> you know, Eddie, they're showing the same group of people that have been on Trump since he became president, now X. It's the same group of people that are covering everything from archives at the Smithsonian to all these other th- It's the same five, five people. That's all their mission is. They said they let one go recently, and his job was to hide the truth. So these five have been out there since Obama, Mm -hmm. and their purpose is to keep the corruption hidden, and Trump having those documents that every other president has had, there was nothing new under the sun, the archives knew exactly what he had, everything had been checked out, they knew exactly what was there, but the corruption he was looking at is what they were after, and now they pulled it all back in to save their Democrat butts. Well, now, people, if you think Joe Biden is the horse you gonna, you want to ride in, ride on, on in 2024, ride the white horse. I am with you. God bless you. Please spend all your time, all your energy, and all your money supporting Joe Biden. I remember mm-hmm. how many of you people walked around with your head down 
even though Joe Biden had won, you had that pit in your stomach. Did you see all the rallies for Biden to see him president? That said, oh, that's right. no. you felt how good, and how right that was, <clears throat> and how that whole thing went for you. And, and the latest polls keep saying, you may lose the Senate and the House. And if you lose the Senate woo, and the House. House and investigations. Joe Biden is going to be a lame duck for two whole years. Because he ain't going to get nothing passed. He can do executive orders, but the House has to pay for them. Well, well, he could do executive orders, but for two years, I mean, two years, they go. You know, that, that that's a waste of time, energy, and money. And keep watching. Mm. Because every time I see Joe Biden on TV, he looks worse. <laughs> I, I, I really don't know what to say. I, I'm not saying, you know, that, 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 I'm just saying what y'all thinking. He looked like death warmed over. He's right. aging right before our eyes. That's naps every day. And and, and, and and I'm not hearing any brilliance coming from him or his campaign. I'm not hearing a whole bunch of independents changing their mind. See, because that's who's going to determine who's going to win this election. It ain't going to be Democrats. It ain't going to be Republicans. They both solidly in their own corner. And his divisive speech he gave the other night, he went after them. Everybody that didn't agree with his side, you were you a threat to democracy, and being the old man that he is, he forgot that we're actually a republic. He ain't that kind of leader. Mm. He he ain't that kind of le leader. There's 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 leading within yourself. You know, <clears throat> th th there are some things that people can look at you and depend on and say that's Joe Biden, that's 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 Donald Trump, you know, that's John. Kennedy, you know. I mean, there's certain things yep. that are you, you know, and 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 other than being creepy, Joe, just because he likes to smell children's hair, or children's. And, and, and and speaking of creepy, Joe, oh boy, I gotta say this. Come on, it's been so long, week after week after week after week of bombing. Everything that happened between Russia and Croatia and, and, and what was going on. And, and we were seeing the president of Croatia on TV every day begging. Now all, the, all of a sudden, see, I, I, see what, my, what, my, my, what, what gets me is there's a certain period of time when they report every gunshot that happens over there, every bombing. And suddenly? And, and now all of a sudden... See now, and now, now this is the, this thing got serious. They even talking about you know having the inspectors you know inspect the the nuclear plant over there, you know, and, and, and that kind of stuff. But for some reason or another, two months ago, mm -hmm. every American knew every dime we were sending billions of dollars over there. And rescue and Americans was dying. We had Americans over there fighting. Mm -hmm. They weren't officially fighting, no. but they were fighting and they were dying. The media thought it was so important that all of us know all of the stuff that's going on. And suddenly. Now all of a ah. sudden you don't hear diddly damn squat. But now you say that. Now you Why? say that, Eddie. Why? Uh the president did ask, Joe Biden did ask for additional on top of the $48 billion that's in the budget they just passed, for them just to spend money like drunken sailors, now, last week, Biden asked for an additional $40 billion emergency money. Emergency money. This is emergency money. $40 billion emergency money. Not in the budget. This is extra money we just print out to send over to Ukraine to help them with infrastructure, 
to help them with training for something, something. Folks, that print machine is going to have to give out eventually. Well, well, well and we don't have it. Well, let me say this too. I don't know if you guys heard, because see, they haven't spent a lot of time, energy, and effort telling us about the flood in Mississippi. No, yeah, no. See, no. those are Americans. Yeah, no, we don't care about that. Who need help? That's true. We send in money. All the way to the Ukraine to cover the corruption to, to to cover something, but but see they're not reporting about Mississippi either. Mm -hmm. See why 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 are they Americans suffering here in America, and we still sending money overseas? And and I'm gonna tell you something. And we'll borrow every penny. If, if they show me an image on TV of an American town with a car. Sailing down Main Street <laughs> like a boat, <laughs> I think that we got the infrastructure and we got the money and the wherewithal and the military to be able to repair those kind of situations in days. Andy, we've got eighty-seven thousand IRS agents. We've got to arm up, and train, come get money. Why? We don't have time for that. Why is it that we got Americans? Me personally, my heart hurts when I see Americans suffering needlessly. Eddie, you're not getting a transitioning picture of us going green. I don't care if we go green, blue, red, yellow. Those folks in Mississippi are hurting. I mean, the thing in Tennessee, uh, Kentucky, a couple weeks ago, you know, I don't get it. We are the biggest, baddest, most powerful nation on the world. But we keep getting caught up in some of these things that are not national in nature. We keep sending money overseas for wars we shouldn't be involved in right. at all. We've yeah. got, we're losing our own soldiers in wars we shouldn't be in at all. So it's kind of odd, already that the Democratic Party, who stand for peace with that peace signal, is now going to war and just being warmongers, feeding the war, feeding corrupt countries, feeding them billions of our dollars, and we got our own people suffering here. Like, oh, no, no, our people are going to suffer because we're transitioning. See, Obama took, what? Obama took pallets of cash. <laughs> you like, don't play. Like a drug dealer. You don't play. S sit them. To a hanger in a country. Where did that come from? That, that that hate our guts, and they had pallets of cash. I mean, that's the kind of stuff you know drug drug laws do. You know, not not nations. We're gonna send you a a a, 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 a F one whatever you know plane fighter planes, yeah. With with a uh, with a couple of skids of, of cash and and you ain't got to do nothing but keep quiet about what you do with it. You know, Eddie, I think one of the primary causes of the global warming thing is bound to be that massive dumpster fire happening at the 1500 Pennsylvania Avenue. Yeah. Because it just, if you, under, if, you, if, you, if you could stand listening to Biden's speech about how terrible anybody who's conservative was destroying the democracy, if you could stand without blowing a gasket, Listen to this old fool rattle on. Nothing was mentioned on fixing inflation. Nothing was rattled, mentioned about going in and fixing our gas prices. Nothing was mentioned about helping our economy at all. Border. No, the, the border. Could, nothing was mentioned about the things that matter here in America. Except Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump this man, Donald Trump, is Figure rent head. free Figure inside Figure the head. Democrats' head. Figure and head. it's amazing that the real estate magnate would be living rent free. And the politicians, two years later, going strong. One thing I want to say. Mm, mm, mm. I like it. <laughs> that, that everybody keeps saying. See, keep talking about them. Fauci was like an American icon. Oh, yeah. And here it is. Jesus Jr. Two years later. Two Just, years he's later. He's disappearing on us. Three years later. He's fading away. 
COVID is killing 400 people a day. But mainly the vaccinated. 400 people a day. How long is it going to take COVID to go away? See, somebody found out if you could make money off of something that, not curable. that has the potential mm -hmm. of being around Forever. and get the government to pay for it. Repeated it. See, that's the thing about it. I haven't seen a budget or I haven't seen mm -hmm. an amount nope. of what the United States government has paid for three and a half years on COVID research oh, yeah. and development and, and, and on treating the citizens of, of America for, for COVID. Now, now let me tell you something, and this oh. is me. This is Eddie Adams Jr., me personally. Just because you get that microbiology Post, degree doesn't mean you know everything, Post, Eddie. Four star about reading, viruses. Saying that this thing could have came and went probably within a cycle or two. So it shouldn't have lasted more than six months to a year. But what happened, it became political. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump was still president. I'm going to get rid of it in six months. As soon as he said, I'm going to get rid of it in six months, Boom. somebody made sure he wasn't going to get rid of it in six months. By ineffective vaccines. Yep. Here it is two and a half years, three and a half years later. Yep. It is now here. Now they got, they still coming out with new vaccine. See, they're going to come out with new vaccine until, until you get a strong president in that go ahead and say this thing is done. Eddie, Eddie. Done. The, the new one. They got a new, a new vaccine they're coming out with right now, and they, they're trying to get out so fast to us, Eddie. They're not even going to bother testing it. They're going to put it directly into your arm, and if he survived, hey, he made it. Oh, he's limping a little bit. Oh, he had a stroke a week later, but that's okay. He survived it. That's, and that's see, happening right now. I, ah, I am trying to. What I don't look. Mm. But, but let, mm. let me talk about something closer to home. Come on. I am president of Hillsborough County Black Republican Club. Next meeting. September twenty second. Yeah. What I am going to do, black folks. For all intents and purposes, have only been involved with half of the stuff that's going on, and not major, not having major roles involved mm -hmm. in any of it. The Republican, I heard, I heard them saying that the NAACP had to give some money, pay some money back to the Hillsborough County Republican Party. The Hillsborough County Republican Party has been involved with things within our community for a long time. Mm -hmm. and, and and now that we got a, a, a the, the first black Republican club in the country started here in Hillsborough County about 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some things that's going to shake this thing up because the Democrats have been pretty much blowing this whole thing with black folks. Yep. You know. You know, y'all just riding around on, on their coattail. Massa, can we do this? And Massa, can oh, we do that? Ready. Oh, there you know, go. You know, and and at the end of the day, they they've been treating you like crap, and you 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 got used to it, mm. and that's what you expect. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna stir some stuff up. We we're gonna have some events. We're gonna have some rallies for the black community and the Republican Party. And if possible, matter of fact, we got a meeting. Uh, Governor DeSantis mm -hmm. has an office on Dale Maple. And we got a meeting Tuesday at 6 o'clock hmm. at Governor DeSantis' office. Sure? And, and what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about some things that we're going to do as black Republicans and, and, and other Republicans uh, in Tampa. Hillsboro to make a difference this next election. So we got till till November the eighth, and what we're gonna do? We gotta change this thing. We're gonna make a difference because I told Democrats you better look out. 
and, and the Democrats that's been running stuff and ain't been doing nothing, you know, your time has come. You know, but that's one thing I, my, you know, I learned from my dad. At some point in time, everything good comes to an end. It ain't going to last forever. So your good thing has come to an end. We're going to get active. We're going to get involved. And as a community, you know, and I got a lot of black folks coming to me. I, have a, I got a lot of black folks. And they're saying, Eddie, you know, I, I, I've known better. I just didn't have the will mm. to do something about it. But it's time. I, I just kept believing, kept believing, knowing it's going to do. All my friends, all my family, everybody's Democrat. So, so, so. they leading you down. They've been leading you down the primrose path for so long. At one day, like they say in church, my eyes will open and I will see. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do, we're going to have some events. We're going to have some stuff happening. And the Democratic Party, they can do what they've been doing. And, and those, and, and, and like I tell people all the time, when they first did the Emancipation Proclamation, there was a lot of blacks didn't want to leave the plantation. That's all they knew. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give you something else. <clears throat> we're we going to do some stuff, and we want you to show up. Because we're going to show both the Democrats and the Republicans. Mm -hmm. It needs to happen, Eddie. It's time. It's going to happen. It's time. That's it's a darn sure. It's going to happen. So, let me do on this day. Let, let, let's, let's get this thing out of the way. On this day, September the 3rd, mm -hmm. 1783, okay. the Revolutionary War between the United States and Great, Great Britain ended with the Treaty of Paris. This day, September 3rd, 1895, the first, now this is going to be wild for some of you, mm. the first professional football game was played in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. The Latrobe YMCA defeated the Jeanette Athletic Club 12 to 0. Ooh. That was in 1895. Now, I know y'all didn't know they were playing professional football since 1895. And that was without helmets back then, Eddie. That was, that, 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 that there was, was no cross protector. They just took it. And that was the YMCA playing. Woo! So, 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 evidently, they were getting men's. paid. They was getting paid. Them, that, wasn't the, that wasn't the NFL. That was somebody from the YMCA, and they were paying those kids. Imagine. Those kids to play football. Wow. In 2001, work began on the future site of World War II Memorial in the United States Capitol Historic National Mall. The site is between the Washington Monument and the Lincoln Memorial. And, and for those who are regular listeners, I know you heard way back when the story of the Long Ranger, because I did a whole mm -hmm. show about the Long Ranger. On this day, in 1954, the Long Ranger was heard on radio for the final time after 2,956 episodes over a period of 21 years. Oh my goodness, that's a long run show. The, it was on as a radio show for 20, so you know, and I, we were talking earlier about it was on, it was on for, for six or seven years as a TV show at 7.30 in the morning. Wow. And, and Bash Reeves, who was a black marshal, was the original Long Range. The real deal. So you can go by uh, Porch Talk Radio and, and look at some of our, our, our shows and see if you can find the one on the Lone Ranger, and it tells the whole story mm. of how America wasn't ready for, for, for a black hero, even though they had one. So the story of the Lone Ranger was based mm. on real-life American black 
Sheriff Marshal Bass Reed. David. Russia has been cut off from CNN and Facebook. The U.S. is now working on cutting Russia off from McDonald's and Coca-Cola. If this keeps up, Russians will soon be the healthiest and best informed people on the planet. Uh, let's see. Texas buses, uh, illegal aliens to Chicago, and uh-oh, they've all been shot. Uh, moving along, more women are waiting to have kids till they're out of college, till they're employed, till they're settled, till they're infertile, till they're dead. Uh, the House says Donald Trump supporters are a threat to democracy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not a democracy. We are a republic. This is why Democrats get it wrong every single time. Isn't it amazing how we can live in a world where your kid cannot pretend to be an Indian, but a grown man can pretend to be a woman? Whoop! Uh, black Americans filed federal lawsuit against New York City for the law allowing foreign nationals to vote. Because the foreign nationals are going to vote for everything they can and not worry about paying taxes, but the working black people in there, they're going to be stuck paying them taxes. That's a mess. Uh, Baghdad's collapsing as the U.S. Embassy prepares to evacuate. Sounds like a failed Afghanistan. At least Democrats are consistent with their foreign policy. The British government has begun paying $140,000 for COVID vaccine damage victims. Whoop! How about that one? To not be outdone by the FBI, Joel Olstein releases new edition of Bible with all words redacted. Hard to swallow pills. The IRS is not interested in investigating the millionaires in Congress. And how stupid can you be? Lizzo, while accepting the video, I guess she's worth a few bucks these days. Mm -hmm. She started whining, complaining, bitching about being oppressed. Please, woman, just go eat another ding dong and move on. Meanwhile, Canada is accused of trying to murder a 61 year old for hearing loss. In Canada, you can now be taken out just for being old. If that ever happened in Florida, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> uh, breaking leaked audio from uh, election 2016. Showing Trump's inauguration, Biden calls the guy that was running the Ukraine at that time. They've got the, the, the audio out and threads him with assassination if he cooperates with the incoming Trump administration, and he's now gone. So, again, folks, after it's all said and done, it's amazing what's happening. Keep the faith. Keep going. Secret Service returns to an million and fraudulently obtained COVID relief. Whoops. How did that happen? And I think one last one, Eddie, just to call it good here. Worcester sister sauce. When Lamborghini said, we don't do commercials because our target audience isn't sitting around and watching TV. Mm, think <laughs> that one through. Thank you, folks. All right. And I, and I have to say something. Serena Williams mm. and the Davis Cup. The biggest and, money winner, Serena. And she has won 91 Grand Slams, and her sister has won 81 Grand Slams, Woo! and, and the, Less than the most, the most money has been Serena. Money. History. In history. So I'm, I'm thinking, this lady is 40 plus years old. Worth 100 million? Ooh. Playing be a tennis. Boy. And before her and her sister and her father mm -hmm. start playing tennis, tennis was a sport for teenagers. Mm. Once you stop being a teenager, you're pretty much outgrown tennis because most of the upstart young tennis players were 15, 16 years old. Faster. I, I mean, they did everything at that eight the sport was designed wow. she proved it wrong for 18 19 years old with that old black don't crack mm. and and see the fact that she's 40 yeah so she's won in her teens her 20s her 30s and her 40s she's ancient but super wealthy now she's good she's going into Fashion. She'll make it. She, she gotta, anything she want to do. She got $100 million. Can, yeah, anything she want to do, she can do. You know, it's just a matter of deciding when she want to spend her time, energy, and her money. She's got even half a century 
old and worth a hundred million dollars. Yeah. That's she's, incredible. She's forty years old. Uh, you know who the Dolphins? Uh, the Dolphins' black executive, the guy that was running some of that, just recently died. He's forty-seven-year-old black man, very successful exec for the Dolphins, uh, along with uh, another uh, black actress that just died. Also, uh, they were in their forties. I'm like, wow, what's taking these people out? The sports were very big on, on this vaccination. Well, well, see, that's the thing about being free. Oh, being a friend. Uh, being a friend. See, if you are a victim, see, see, that's one of the things that the Democrats and, and, and the black leadership have taken black sh people mm -hmm. as a population and made us victims. We're mm -hmm. victims of everything. And you talk about Trina Williams making all the money. Like, well, you don't have to be. She did. She wasn't. No, she didn't well, come from a rich family. Well, I don't guess. No, they wasn't rich. I mean, I, I mean, I saw. Uh, Daddy must have worked somewhere. I mean, they, 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 they had Will Smith play, play, play the role of her father in the movie, mm -hmm. and that was a good movie, and and the whole family was involved because you saw them show Will Smith respect when he was at the at, at the Oscars when he slapped whatever, and they. I showed think that was all fake. They, and they show pictures of the they family. They make a lot of money on that. But, I mean, that's, that's what they do. They do it to make money. Mm, hey. you know, but the thing about it was the mom, the sisters, the children, you know, the house they was in when they was in, in, in L.A. and they came to Florida and changed their whole life. Mm. That's, how, that's how you do it. And you don't turn your back on your community. And, and that's one of the things, and I, I saw when they had something, where they were doing something with Will Smith, and he was talking to his mom and his family, his wife and his kids, and all that all this kind of stuff, you know. You make your life yours, and you don't have to be afraid of everything coming down the pipe. And I'm, and I'm saying this now, and I've said this before, I never got a flu shot because I worked in a hospital and I never had the flu. I never had the flu. I didn't get the COVID shot, immunization, any of that stuff because I haven't had it. If I would have had it, then that would have been something different. I think a lot of people got it from TV. <laughs> I do. A lot of people... You know, everything come down the pipe. Psychological thing. If everything they say you got. Hypochondriac. You know, you, you run out and get it. You know, first thing you do, on the first one in line, I got to get a shot for this, shot for that. That ain't me. So, anyway. Tampa Bay. Even though he's one minute early. Uh-oh, you're early. Back away. We love you. <laughs> Until next week, same bad time. God bless Same America. bad station. Bye-bye.